In the sixth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, we have the words of Jesus where he says, If you forgive men their trespasses, God will forgive you. If you forgive men their trespasses, God will forgive you. In these words of Jesus, we should hear both an encouragement, a reason to have hope, but also a very stark warning, a warning that should make us shake and tremble, and should shake us from our complacency. It is a, a statement of hope because Christ assures us that if we forgive, we will find mercy. God will show mercy to all those who are merciful. But it is a warning. A warning that if we choose to refuse to forgive, we cannot hope to expect mercy and forgiveness from God on the Day of Judgment. As we rush to that moment of our death, as we rush to the moment of judgment, let us remember, we cannot simply be casual. We cannot simply say, oh well, God is so loving, God is so forgiving, everything will be fine. God says to us, if you forgive, I will forgive. Jesus taught us in the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our debts as we forgive others. When we think of this, when we think of our hurts, sometimes the cycle of pain in our emotions, our psychology, can go round and round for years as we contemplate, as we remember the hurts past and present that people have committed against us. And sometimes that cycle is very difficult to break out of. And sometimes we can get comfortable in this experience of revisiting those hurts. But Jesus makes it very clear, if we have a desire for vengeance, if we have a desire for retribution, if we cling to hatred for anything that someone has done to us, we make ourselves incapable of receiving God's forgiveness. How can this not but make us tremble? Who can look at themselves and with all honesty not see any desire or anger for something somebody has done to us and desire some kind of retribution for this, even in some small way, to be shown to be right, to be shown to be unjustly treated. That desire for justice for ourselves can lead to condemnation of others. And as weak human beings, we may look at this and say, how then can anyone be saved? How can we hope to find forgiveness when we know so often we lack forgiveness ourselves. The Church Fathers, those, those great psychologists, not of the mind so much as the, the soul, the true depths of the human being, they tell us there are roots to this forgiveness, there are ways we can think, there are ways to look at other people and what they do that will help us to forgive. Church Fathers tell us, first of all, we should constantly remind ourselves of the, the trivial nature of so many of these hurts, the reality of what it is we, we, we constantly remember, the trivial nature of those hurts that we condemn others for, and the, the vastness of our own sins, the vastness of a lifetime of hurt committed against God, of disobedience, of rebellion. When we compare them, when we compare what we are called to forgive in others with what we hope to be forgiven by God, how can we but not tremble at our own injustice in the way that we treat other people compared with what we hope for from God? It is we who are being unjust. But there is another important factor in this. The Church Fathers say to us, everything that is committed against us in this life has no eternal existence. It will have no eternal bearing on our soul what other people do to us. Even when those hurts have gone on for many years, even if those hurts last a lifetime, at death they will come to an end. 
the hurts committed against by others are transient. The Church Fathers remind us they can have no bearing on our condition a judgment but if we choose to refuse to forgive we we commit an evil against our soul that may be eternal we enter judgment with this evil that we have marked our soul with the harm that we can do ourselves by refusing to forgive can be eternal the church fathers say to us let us ponder the reality of this when we are feeling annoyed angry desiring some kind of justice let us remember that these things will pass but what we are doing the condition of our soul will be what we bring before God on judgment day and it will be eternal so let us weigh up the temporary the temporary evil committed against us against the eternal evil that we commit and let us think of all those people who through the generations have refused to forgive and are now dead how they would long for even an hour a moment of life to repent and to forgive others that they may find mercy we are here now we have breath we have life in his mercy God has given us this life that we may lay hold of his mercy lay hold of his forgiveness and part of the way that we do this is by showing forgiveness for others now this is our calling now in this life let us hear the words of Jesus if you forgive others their trespasses God will have mercy and forgive you this is the time that decides our future our eternal future and so long as we have breath so long as as the heart beats we can forgive in our prayers let us always ask God to strengthen us to give us the courage and strength to forgive others and it takes courage at times because to forgive can be a cross that we take up it can be crucifixion it can be to face injustice face the pain and to be willing to try to love to try to forgive to try to pray for that person's salvation when they've caused us so much pain what a cross it is to take up what a heroic demand it makes on us this is the Christian calling this this warning that Christ gives is stark and it's frightening but we must have hope we have hope that in his love for us God's grace will work in us will transform us will give us the strength to forgive to love to show mercy this is the work of the Holy Spirit within us but we can deny this very work that God does in us deny the grace of God by refusing to refi to forgive we can choose a state of mind that dwells in this anger that dwells in feelings of longing of retribution let's put these things aside let us trust in God place ourselves entirely in the love protection and mercy of God these things that we long for that are sinful are of the world they are of the world and they will pass and they will be nothing our willingness or unwillingness to forgive is eternal if we struggle to forgive then let us ask God to soften our hearts soften our hearts with his grace soften our hearts to even begin to glimpse love for others yes it is a kind of cross that we are called to lift and at times it may seem too difficult 
when our mind lingers on those pains, those hurts, it may seem so difficult to take up this cross. But let us remember, we have hurt Christ more than anyone has hurt us. And even in the face of this hurt, Christ is willing to show mercy.